Notion is an incredible tool, but most people overcomplicate it. They create these massive dashboards with widgets, trackers, and automations, and then never use them. Well, I've been using Notion for years, and after tons of trial and error, I finally built a system that's simple, functional, and actually improves my life every single day. And today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how it works so you can start using it right now to stay more organized, productive, and focused on your goals, whether you're completely new to Notion or a regular Notion user. But before we get started, if you're new here, I'm Ryan, I'm a software engineer based in Boston. And on this channel, we explore how to live more optimized, happier, and healthier lives. And this is episode two in the Using Notion to Organize Your Life series. You can click one of these corners to watch episode one, which is a 30 minute, full, in-depth, step-by-step Notion tutorial. Welcome to your new life operating system in Notion. With this template, you can organize your goals, projects, tasks, to-do lists, and all the areas of your life, all in one simple, easy to use dashboard. And this is where I find that most systems fall short. They're pretty complex and often require more work than value they provide. So I wanted to make a simple dashboard and template that you can use to organize your whole life that requires Pretty much no work is super easy to use super simple and can help organize everything for you so let me explain how the system works at a high level at the top level you have your goals what you want to achieve and within each one of those goals you have projects that go along with that goal projects that when they're completed drive you towards completing that goal and within each of those projects there's tasks and these are the tasks that need to be completed in order to finish that project let me show you what it looks like when you use this system to manage your life so you're gonna open this and this is what you're gonna see. Here, you're gonna see your tasks, you're gonna see your projects in progress, and you're gonna see a list of all your goals. And then if you scroll down a little, you'll see a to-do list of things that need to be scheduled, and then a widget with the weather if you wanna add that. This is what I like to call the daily view. This is the page you're gonna be on every day to help manage your life. And you'll notice a couple things here. Down here, you have a list of all your goals. On the right over here, you have a list of all your projects, only showing the ones in progress. And then over here, we have our tasks. And these are the tasks that are actually due today. So when you go to create a new task, it asks you to add a date to it, as well as a duration. Daily view is only showing the tasks that are due today that are incomplete. So when you open this dashboard, you'll literally see all the things you need to do that day. And what I like to do is when I open this and I see all my tasks, as well as the duration of each, I drag them in order of how I'm gonna do them. So I'll say, okay, this task is gonna take me two hours and this is my most important task, so we'll keep that one first. This one is gonna take me three hours. I'll drag this one here and do that one. And then my third task is gonna take me one hour. I'll keep that third. And then when I go to start the task, set a timer for two hours or three hours or whatever, and then I can see all my in-progress projects right here. And if I open one of these, I'll see all the resources that go along with that project as well as any of the tasks that go along with that project. And I can see the start and end date of each. I can also open this projects view in a monthly calendar view to see the dates of those projects. I can do the same for my tasks view. And then my goals will always be present down here, always reminding me of what I wanna achieve this quarter. And I can also look at these goals, aka quarterly quests in a list view if I want to. So when I'm using this to manage my life, pretty much every day, just gonna look at my tasks, put them in order, check them off as I complete them, make my way through the list, or move them to a new day if I need to, and then look at my projects and add any relevant resources when I'm working through that, right? And then if we come down here to areas, this is where I just add things to organize my life. This is gonna be pretty much up to you what you wanna add if you even want areas as part of this dashboard, but things that are relevant can be added to each. So maybe you add like a list of all your credit cards and a page in within finance or something within content creation or something within school. You could add each of one of your classes as a page. This is very customized, so I'm not gonna get too into areas, but when you're using this to manage your life, it's nice to have this areas dashboard. In fact, I'll show you what mine looks like just so you can get an idea. Um, so if we go down to my areas, you can see I have content creation, personal growth, flip side, which is my job, finances, all these different things. And I just store things here that are useful for each one of these. So that's what areas looks like. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see the archive. This is where you drag things that are completed, maybe an area that is no longer relevant or just anything that you're not using anymore. Just drag it to the archive and you'll also find all the databases in here. And then you see your two schedule lists. These are all the to-dos that have not been scheduled yet that you need to add a date to. So 
these will be down here below. When you're using this to manage your life, the daily view is just gonna be your task, projects, and goals. This is what you're gonna use most of the time. And then anything that needs scheduling will be down here. Now let's get into how you can set this up for yourself and use this every day to manage your entire life. The first thing you wanna do is add your goals. So we already have sample goal one and sample goal two. Let's go ahead and add another goal. Let's say my third goal is post 10 videos. Since I do my quarterly goals, the target date is the end of quarter one because we're in quarter one. So that'll be in the next till March 31st. So in the next 21 days, the category of this is YouTube, right? So there I've added a goal. And if I have another goal, I can add it here. I like to set up to between three to six goals per quarter. I would suggest starting out with maybe three, see if you accomplish them. And if you do accomplish all of them, maybe set more in the next quarter. So set your goals, then you're gonna go ahead and create all the projects that you have in progress or that you want to do at some point that are not started. So let's go ahead and create another project. Sample project three, improve process for writing videos. So this will be one of my projects. I will do this starting tomorrow. Click here to add an end date, finish this on the 15th. And this has to do with our third goal, post 10 videos. Now, when you create a new project and all projects themselves have two different databases within that. First one is project resources. And this is just all things that go along with this project. And the second is project tasks. So when you create a new project, I would suggest immediately creating all the list of tasks. So like this project is improved process for writing videos. Maybe research, watch three videos on scripting, finish PTYA, test out different writing systems slash processes. All right? These would be maybe three of the tasks that go along with this project and then add a date to each. So this is this project is from the 10th of March to the 15th. Maybe I'll do this task on the 11th. I'll do this one on the 13th, this one on the 15th. And then I add a duration for each. This one will take two hours. This one will take five hours. This one will take three hours. Okay, for the sake of example, I'm gonna make one of these due today so we can watch it appear on our tasks daily view. So now when we go to our task, since this write three videos on scripting is due to be completed today, it'll appear on our daily view of our tasks. If we go to the calendar, we can see all of our tasks automatically created. So if we drag this and go back to our daily view, you can see it's no longer here. If we were to drag these, go to tasks, we can see these are all here. Same with our new project. It is now also in the calendar. So this is actually super useful for managing your time and your to-dos. I find it super nice, super easy to just log on to my Notion every day, drag things in the order of when I'm going to do them. It's super easy and just really nice and allows me to just accomplish a lot of things in not that much time. And if you wanna push something back to another day, you can just change the date here or drag it in the calendar. That's the process. When you get this template, start with goals, then go into your projects, add any projects that have to do with each of those goals. And then when you're creating those projects, add any tasks that have to do with those projects. And maybe you just add your list of goals and you add projects as you go. You may not know all the projects immediately when you create that goal. So go ahead and add projects as you go and then add tasks as you go as well. Now you can also create a new task by clicking right here in the task database or clicking new right up here and then creating a new task, update the date, update the project and add a name as well as a duration. Or you can go down to your to schedule list. This is where I like to add my tasks. I will just scroll down a little bit, add a plus here, and just add the task, add the duration. And if there's a project that it's relevant to, if not, you don't need to add a project to it. It could just be a to-do, like go to the dentist and then add a date for it to be completed. Now it's automatically locked in to your schedule for you. And on that day, when you go open this notion, you might need to refresh it, control R, you will see all of your tasks for that day appear for you. So if we go to our calendar, we'll see the dentist task right here. So super easy. You don't need to keep track of things very much. You just create them and then immediately add a date. So the sample task, we'll add a date here, add a duration, and same with this one. Maybe this one has to do with this project, add a date and a duration. And boom, now my two schedule list is empty. You may ask, now what happens if I finish today and I didn't look at this Notion template at all? and I didn't complete any of the tasks that I was supposed to complete. Could go to my calendar and redrag them, but that's kind of annoying. I wanna see everything that I missed. So let's move these to previous days. Say I missed all of these, it's gone for a week or something and just didn't accomplish any of them. They will automatically appear in my to schedule list 
if the date is before today and they are in uncompleted. So if you ever miss a task, it'll automatically be added to your to schedule list. So you can go back and schedule it as needed. So that's super nice. You never really miss your tasks. And it allows you to just stay on track of everything and make sure you are finishing everything that you want to finish. So I briefly talked about areas before. As I said earlier, this is gonna be very customized. These are the base pages that I've added. Feel free to just adjust them and add anything that's relevant to any of these. Or if you wanna keep this thing super simple and you're not gonna dump other things in here and you're just gonna use this as a way to manage your goals, projects, to-dos, tasks, you can just delete the areas page itself. Maybe if you walk you through what my life operating system looks like, it's just a slightly more complicated version of the life operating system template that I've created. I have a widget over here showing my calendar. If you wanna know how to do that, leave a comment in the description and I'll walk you through how you can add this calendar widget to yours, super easy. The only reason I didn't add it to the template is because this actually costs $4 a month um, to add this widget to the database. So I have my calendar in mind, I have all of my in-progress projects. If I were to click on one of these, you can see if I have any resources or tasks that go along with them. So maybe this one will have more. Yeah, here's the resources and all the tasks that go along with that. Same with this one. If there's any tasks that go along with that one. Scroll down, you can see all my goals, all my areas, and then a couple other widgets, the weather and a countdown timer. This is how much longer I have left in my life. I like having this timer here as it just reminds me to live in the moment and realize that your life is finite. You wanna enjoy every moment. So that's why I have that widget here and then I have the weather. I also have my knowledge web in here. This is a little more complicated and in-depth. I have all my notes from everywhere sync to this Notion page as well and then I can add any relevant knowledge to my new projects when I create one. That's a story for another video. This is what it looks like when I use this to manage my life. These are all the tasks I need to do today. Film videos, boom, I'm doing that right now. Write a video. So when I check these off, these all get checked off. And if I don't finish any of them, I can go to the calendar view and drag them. Super nice, super easy. And I have absolutely loved using this template. The link is in the description if you wanna duplicate it completely free and hopefully it'll help you manage your life. If you enjoyed this video, I also made a video on how I completely removed all distractions from my life, both my phone and my computer. And that helps me stay on track for my goals and my projects. And it helps me just accomplish more. So check that out if you wanna watch that right here. And thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.